it's Amanda and I'm coming to you with a new ink swatching video. Today we have the new uh, Twisby inks. Um, Twisby just released five new colors of inks. We have Crimson, Tangerine, um, Navy, Forest Green, and Grape. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch all of these inks. Um, and then um, we'll compare it to the rest of the Twisby inks and if anything kind of comes to mind I'll try to remember to compare it as well so um, you can kind of see what these look like next to everything else so um, let me open these up and we'll get started they open pretty nicely they have like the Twisby seal I kind of I kinda like these boxes actually comes with the foam on top and then um, it's the little 18 milliliter bottle of ink so just like that um, six color set and um, I think if you got that Twisby uh, golden horse you also got an 18 mil bottle of the midnight blue ink or I mean not midnight yeah midnight blue so that's what it looks like I'll open the rest of these off off camera and we'll be right back okay so I'm back um, I'm going to swatch these in rainbow order, so we're going to do like a little Roy G. Biv sort of thing, and um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. As usual, my swatching supplies are, oops, I was trying to get it so you could see it, are uh, the coloring ink testing book, and my uh, glass dip pen is the Moon Man N6, and this is just a random notebook and then I'm also going to swatch them on Tomoe River paper since I didn't do 30 inks for November and any or anything like that I have a lot of pages to use um, in my Hobonichi so we'll swatch it on this paper and um, see how it looks so yeah so we have five inks here's what the bottles look like just the cute frosted Twizy bottles um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing what these look like and how they compare to the, um, that 1791 series. Um, yeah, I don't have the cards with me right now, so when these swatch cards are drying, I'll go grab those and we'll show what they look like and see where this blue fits in the Twisby Blue lineup. Um, yeah. Looking forward to it. It's really nice to be swatching inks again. Um, thanks everybody for, um sticking around during my break. Um, it was a little longer than I intended it to be, but much needed between work and just really being sad about patches. I haven't been using pens a whole lot. I've been mostly uh, playing video games um, and stuff. So this is what crimson looks like in the cap. It's hard to see, I think, because the cap is red and all that stuff. But yeah, let's take a look. So I ordered these from uh, Van S. Pens. Um, this is Twisby. Crimson. It's kind of a pretty color, at least. Um, when I'm able to see it. I, th I like this a lot better than the um, original red. I feel like the original red is a little um, watery and uh, pale. But the, so far, the text and the scribble, this looks really good. This is a much better red just so far. It's like a pinky red, but I still like it way better already. Seems like it's a little more saturated, a little less watery. Very nice, very nice. Oh wait, I was gonna swatch it on the Tomo River paper, silly. I perhaps maybe put a little bit too much ink on here, but yeah, I really like this red color. I like this a whole lot better than Twisby Red. Kind of sad it's only in the small bottle. Not that I need another freaking red ink, but yeah. All right, we'll set that off to the side to dry. Next up, I'm gonna pat that 
dry. That's what it looks like on the paper towel. Next up, we'll do a Twisby Tangerine. Not sure if you can see it. It's pretty bright. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Sailor Apricot. I don't know what the red reminds me of, but it's a pretty red. Oh, maybe Star Ruby. I was going to film so many videos while I was on vacation this week, and I just didn't do it. Like I said, I've been playing video games. <laughs> I, uh, um, yeah, B, B. Oh, this is kind of pretty. It's like a pretty, like, yellowy orange, orangey. Let's say it's a yellowy sort of orange. I think Twisby orange is a little more of a red orange orange. But yeah, so far, at least in the writing and the scribble. <laughs> My apologies if I haven't edited out all of the sniffles. Um, yeah, I like sneezed. I turned the camera on and sneezed. And then, um, yeah, now I can't stop sniffling. Like, it didn't start until, I haven't sneezed this whole entire week, but then I go and turn the camera on to record, and all of a sudden I can't stop sneezing. This is a very bright, pretty color. pretty I like it I mean I like it at least initially I, it's not a color I don't think that I would reach for or gravitate towards very often orange is not my jam but it's it's cute so it looked like on the bottle there's like some green sheen I don't know if the ink it's just in this one spot though so maybe it's just how the light's hitting it I don't know if the ink is supposed to have sheen or not um, next up we have Twisby Forest Green. Move this so we get a little bit of a cleaner spot. I'll be interested to see what this green looks like because the 1791 series that um, is emerald green is really kind of a bluish green. Again, I got these from Vanus Pens. Also seems to be kind of a bluey, a bluier green, but also kind of a green green. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't listen to me. Okay. It looks like their sheen on the bottles, uh, the lip of the bottle as well. I don't know if there actually is or not, but this ink seems really flowy. This ink seems like a wet ink based on how it was coming off my brush. So when I usually do these swatches, I do have the paint brushes in water because I like to saturate them before I dip it in the ink because I find if I uh, don't do that first, the ink just sucks into the bristles and then my swatches like really dry. So I don't know, it just gives me a better swatching experience. Um, but I always like blot the brushes before I put them in the ink. And this just like flowed. It's drying really fast though, so I don't know. Yeah, very pretty.
but you can see there's blue. I mean, obviously yellow and green make blue, but there. Twisby Forest Green. Next up, we have Twisby Navy. I'm going to flip this around because there's a little more clean spot on this side. Twisby Navy. It'll be interesting to see how this goes into the blues. Obviously, I have a very favorite Twisby Blue already, Twisby Midnight Blue. Um, Twisby Black is also my favorite black, so... really nice blue. I feel like my nib is like starting to crack and I don't know if that's true or not but very nice blue. Um, maybe not. I feel like it sticks around on the glass dip pen though. I don't know if you can see that but Okay, I just had to dunk it a couple times and then it was fine. But that blue shade is really nice. Um, okay. Okay, let's see what we get out of this. This is a very nice dark blue. It's not as dark or as like saturated or as like thick as Twisby Midnight Blue. So if you wanted a darker blue from Twisby, but not Twisby Midnight Blue. Also, if you don't like Twisby Midnight Blue, we can't be friends. I'm just kidding. That's not true. Um, yeah, I think this is a good one. And we'll see how it dries, but it goes down wet pretty dark. So, yeah, I like this. If you didn't want something as intense as Twisby Midnight Blue, then perhaps this is a good option. If you wanted a Twisby Blue ink, I think the other ones are too watery. Um, I've said that in my previous Twisby ink video. I'm just gonna miss a spot along the edge, so I'm just, uh, filling that out. Yeah, so far I like this. We'll see how it dries. I feel, I know that I say that I like everything, but the truth is, initially I do tend to like everything. It's later, oh, I forgot to, um, I forgot to do the Tumway River paper. It's just later on that I, like, use something. I'm like, oh, I actually don't really like this. But I'm so excited about everything early on that it's just hard to, unless I just actually really and truly 100% don't like it right out of that, right out, right out of the gate. Um, I tend to be really excited about things and enjoy them, at least initially. Next up, we have Grape, which is a like pinky purpley color. I'm actually not sure how I'm going to feel about this one. Um, sometimes I've, I've seen like swatches on the internet with it and I like it and sometimes I don't. So um, I don't know. Yeah, we'll see how this, um, how this uh, purple compares. I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about this one. Uh, but we will definitely give it a good old swatching time. Okay, here we go. We didn't really get anything in the cap. Let me see if I can. Yeah, it doesn't really stick to the cap area very much, but that's okay. Here's what it looks like in the bottle, if you could see that. It's a pretty color, like the, the uh, glasses. Okay, so we have once again gotten this from Van Ness Pens. I'm actually expecting a package from Van Ness Pens today for another video that I'm very excited about. Um, Twisby Grape. Did not like how that wrote, but I may not have had ink. Oh, this is a bad card. That's okay. We'll keep it. Grape. There. Okay. 
part of me wants to redo this, but also part of me doesn't want to waste the card. <laughs> so we're just going to go along with it. We're just going to go with it. It's okay. It's okay. Um, I use that brush already. Let's try this one. It's like pink. It kind of reminds me of, the, I think it's Diatramentous Apple Blossom or something like that. I'm going to do a little bit more of a second layer, at least on the bottom half, just to see if we can like make it a little darker, a little more saturated. We'll do our tone layer reverse swatch. It's an interesting color. I'm not entirely sure. I'm sold on it. I also have like a ton of other inks that are basically this color. So, um, yeah, maybe Arabian Rose a little bit, kind of like that sort of thing. Private Reserve Arabian Rose. Or it's, I think it's, I don't think it's quite as similar as my uh, Black Tongue Spider Orchid. I should write these down so I remember them. Okay, I'm gonna let these swatch cards dry. The first ones are kind of dry, but the last ones are a little wet still. And then um, I will come back and we will compare to the uh, Twisby, the rest of the Twisby lineup, and then um, I'll throw in some other ink comparisons as well, just so you can kind of see in case there's something you might already have. Um, while it's drying, here's what the Tomoe River swatches look like. Let me zoom back out. Pretty. I like that green a whole lot. I don't like the tangerine on the Tomoe River paper so much, but I really do like that navy. It's not going to take the top spot for my blue, but I do like it a whole lot. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. I will be uh, back shortly. Hi, everybody. We're back. We're going to look at our swatch cards. We have Twisby Crimson. I love it. Oh, I just saw some stuff I was looking for coming back in stock. Nice. Twisby Tangerine. Very pretty, bright orangey color. Twisby Forest Green. Nice green. Twisby Navy. And then Twisby Grape. Like I said, I did want to do some comparisons on these. Um, yeah, so we'll start with the red. Um, so far, I think my favorite of these is probably the red and the blue. Like, the purple's nice, but I have ones that I like already. Uh, the green and the orange are okay. Um, obviously, I have my favorite, like, blue-blue. That is also Twisby, but this one's really nice, and I like this red a whole lot better than the other red. I think these are great improvements on Twisby blue and Twisby red. So, these were ones that, if you wanted to try one of their inks, I would recommend these two above the other standard. Although these only come in the small bottles that I'm aware of and the other ones come in the big bottles so that's a better value but I like these ink colors better. So anyway, let's go ahead and do our comparisons. We'll start with our red because I'm doing everything in like a Roy G. Biv sort of way. So what I'm talking about when I mean Twizzy Red looks really, I don't know. Oops, that's it. I'm still not used to the zoom on this camera. The camera's making it look a little more orangey, but it's just like, I don't know, it's, this is just like really boring to me. I, I like this color better. That's my own personal preference. So take that for what you will. I did grab a couple comparisons. I didn't grab too many of them because I don't really have reds that are this particular sort of shade, I don't think. I grabbed a Scribo Rosso Melograno, which seems like it might be a little more pink. I was gonna grab, oh wait, I was gonna grab um, Star Ruby as well. That should be on my pen friend ring, so let me, let me find that one. Cause Nib Nerd sent me a sample of that. Hopefully it's on here. 
Oh no. Oh no, it's not on here. Oh yes it is. Okay, cool. Um, so this is a little more pink. This is definitely more of a pinky red. Um, this is also a little bit more, this is a little more red red. This is a little more uh, also pinky red. And then I thought Algonquin Maple, but this is a little more orange. Like it's hard to tell I think, but it's definitely a warmer color. Um, yeah, I really, really, really like this Twisby Crimson though. Um, so yeah, there's that. Then we will do the tangerine. I have another ink called tangerine. This is from uh, Van Diemen. This is West Coast tangerine. This seems to be a little more yellow, not as bright. It's a little more muted. Um, I did say it reminded me of Sailor Gentle Apricot, but Apricot has a lot of um, like red sheen sort of going on. And this one doesn't really have it has a little bit, I don't know if the camera's picking it up that well, but there is a little tiny bit of some sheen right here. I can't really tell what color it is, but um, yeah, where the ink is pulled a little more. I don't see it anywhere else, it's just in that one spot. Um, but yeah, and then I also grabbed uh, Twisby Orange, so you can see what they look like next to each other. This is all a little darker, a little more of a redder orange. Um, yeah, so those are those. Next up we have a Twisby Forest Green, just a pretty nice green color. Um, I grabbed um, my swatch of Emerald Green, so you could see this is a little more of a bluish green. Here's also what it looks like next to Prairie Green, which is obviously like a brighter yellower green. Um, I have two different swatch cards of Robert Oster Peppermint. Um, so there's one of them. And here's my other one. Definitely different greens, darker, more of a blue green. Um, I think the green is what I grabbed most of the cards of. This seems to have a little more yellow in it. Here's Ferris Will Press Peppermint Drop, also a little more on the uh, bluer side of, of the green spectrum. Elegant Teal, California Teal, Shinryoku. Um, oh, here's California Teal that just happens to be sitting here. Nothing at all like it, but there you go. What else do I have over here? I have a couple greens. Lavender Forest Green. Do I have? Is my card for um, Irish Green sitting here? It is. Immediately what it made me think of. This is a little more blue. I don't know if you can tell on camera. It's a little more like a t the barest, smallest twinge of blue that I can see more than this one. This one seems like it's a little more yellow. This one seems like it's a touch more. Like this is warmer and this is cooler. That's why I'm saying that. So. There's that. Then we have navy. Um, here's what it looks like next to sapphire blue, which is pretty washed out. This is what it looks like next to Twisby blue black, also washed out. This is supposed to be an iron gall ink though. Um, and then I grabbed a couple. Oh, here's what it looks like next to midnight blue, my favorite, favorite, favorite of all the blue inks which this shows up more red or purpley because of the red sheen. It seems like it might be a sim, oh no, I was gonna say maybe a similar base color, but just less sheen, but no, it's, I, it's a different shade of blue. And I grabbed a couple of um, other inks to compare it to. Here's a uh, Monteverde Blue Velvet Cake. Let me center these a little bit more. Um, and then also, um, it kind of reminded me a little of Kiku. Um, it's a little different, not quite as vibrant, and then also Sailor Yunaga. Um, I think they're a little different blues, but yeah. And then I can't find my card for Arabian Rose. Here's Grape. Um, but I did find my card for Black Tongue Spider Orchid, and they're not as similar as I thought they would be. 
Um, but oh wait, no, here, here's oh no, that's Rose Noir. Is Arabian Rose over here by any chance? No, no, it's not. Okay, but here's Rose Noir, also different from that. <laughs> So yeah, so that's our um, lineup of the new Twisby inks. Oops, oh, that's not even the right ink. Here we go. Yeah. Let me zoom back out so you can actually see them. Very cool. I like them a lot. Maybe I'll spread them out like this. So you can see the whole lineup in the frame. The grape. Navy. Crimson. Tangerine. And forest green. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be back again very soon with um, probably another swatching video, maybe another pen video. We shall see. Um, yeah, I hope that you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you again very soon. Take care. Love you. Bye. I just realized that I almost forgot to show you the Toma River swatches dry. I was cleaning up and then saw the notebook. I was like, oh, I never showed this. So that's what they look like dry. I still really like the red. I still really like the um, blue. I don't like the tangerine on this paper so much. This is okay on this paper. Um, and that's the green. The green's okay. And then here's kind of what, this is Arabian Rose. And that's what the grape looks like. So they're kind of similar. I know that's like hard to see and hard to tell, but yeah. Anyway, there you go. Now I'm going to go now. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.